One of the hardest things that ostomates have to face is the stigma around having a stoma. The public often jump to conclusions based on really old fashioned thinking like only old people can have ostomy bags and everyone with an ostomy bag must smell. There's also the fact that no one really wants to talk about bodily functions because they just think it's embarrassing. While wee and poo isn't exactly the most glamorous thing to be talking about, everyone has to deal with it in their daily life. Furthermore, those functions are vital to your survival, so if there's anything wrong with your bladder or bowel, it needs to be talked about. That's why we need to help educate the public in order to break the taboo around bowel-related discussions, whether that's about surgery or whether it's the conditions that could lead to surgery. By speaking out about life with a stoma, it can help get rid of those old-fashioned ways of thinking and help raise awareness of what it's really like to live with a stoma. Hopefully then, the public would realise that it's not just old people that have ostomy bags, and actually, ostomy appliances have come a long way since back in the 1950s. The theme for this year's World Ostomy Day is Many Stories, One Voice. Now, back when I had my surgery in 2010, all I'd really heard about ostomy was negative things, so of course I would think negatively about it. But since living with an ostomy and sharing my experience, I've realised that actually it's a good thing and there can be a lot of positives from it. I plan on sharing my ostomy story for World Ostomy Day and I hope you do too.